Here is everything you need to know about the tone curve and how to manipulate the tone curve to get better images. What is the tone curve? The tone curve is an amazing feature that is available on most editing applications, be it on desktop like Photoshop and Lightroom or be it on any mobile editing applications like Snapseed and Lightroom Mobile. And what I'm going to show you today, you can use the same techniques to manipulate photos on your cell phone and on your desktop. Basically what the tone curve does is helps you manipulate the photo by globally adjusting the brightness and the contrast of an image and this is actually the most simplest explanation of that tone curve. The tone curve is kind of divided into five different regions starting with the blacks, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights and the whites. One of the most easiest techniques that everyone knows, I'm pretty sure you guys all know this by now, that the easiest tone curve adjustment is the S curve, where you basically drag down the shadows, raise the mid-tones, and then raise the highlights some more and fix it accordingly. And that basically adds contrast to your image without using the contrast slider. There's so much more you can actually get out of adjusting the tone curve, like the cinematic fade that you guys see in a lot of pictures on Instagram. Let me show you guys how easy it is to achieve the, the cinematic fade using the tone curve. And all you have to do is basically make a point on the shadows and then raise the blacks slowly and you'll start seeing the cinematic fade appear. And then do it as much as you want, but drag it in towards the right a little bit extra so that you don't lose the contrast by adding that fade. That's how easy it is to achieve that cinematic fade on your images. One of the most fundamental things that you can do with the tone curve is color grade your photos and color correct them as well. And it's really easy once you know how different sections of the tone curve actually work. Let me give you a small tutorial in that. The three main color channels that you need to manipulate in order to color correct your images or to color grade your photos are the red color channel, the green and the blue. What I personally like to do is make an S curve in all three of them and this is how I do it actually. Bring down the reds, pull the midtones, pull the highlights some more and then I do the same with the green curve as well. I bring down the shadows, raise the midtones and then raise the highlights some more and then I actually do the same with the blue curve as well. Ra bring down the shadows, raise the midtones and then raise the highlights. This is one of the easiest techniques you can use to color grade your images using the tone curve. Now I honestly hope you guys learned something from the video. Now if this video has helped you in any way and if you would love for me to make more videos like this in the near future about the editing process, about this whole art form in general, please do like the video. It really does help make a difference and subscribe to my channel. There's about 87% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. I would love to turn you guys into my audience and if I haven't said it before, I do really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.